So today's topic is all about the tolerances, dimensional tolerances. And this is one important design parameter which we have to decide during any design, whether it's a product design or tool design or SPM design or machine design or robotics or automation, any design. And this is related to the quality of your product. And we are going to understand all the important factors which decides the tolerance value. So let us start. I am going to share my screen. Right. So the first question, why tolerances? Friends, the main reason why we provide tolerances that we cannot manufacture any component with exact size. That is the main reason why we have to go for tolerances. And when you want to produce a component with close degree of accuracy, you have to go for precise machinery. You have to go for precise checking instruments. Skilled labor work is required. More time is required. Cost is also increased. So design engineer has to understand that am I going to increase the cost and not the quality at the same time? That is the reason we have to go for some tolerances. Next, there are three terminologies we have to understand. One is tolerance. Second is accuracy and third is quality. Very small difference. Tolerance, when we say it is applicable to a dimension or it is applicable to a geometry, geometric tolerance or dimensional tolerance, right? When we say accuracy, accuracy can be related to a dimension, maybe speed, temperature, pressure. So other parameters are also involved. And when we say quality, quality means simple definition, customer satisfaction. Suppose you have purchased a bike and your friend is asking, how is your bike? You, you say it's a quality product. When you say quality product, you're not saying that what is the tolerance of that piston and cylinder, right? Quality product means you are saying that I'm happy with this product because there are no problems with this vehicle. As per my satisfaction, all standards are meeting. But when we say tolerance, it is related to dimension or it is related to a geometry. Now, this is a topic. Tolerance is a topic. When you are providing a tolerance to a particular dimension, there are various levels also we have to understand. And as a design engineer, it is not just creating a drawing. When you provide the tolerance, there should be multi-tasking, uh, like various thought processes are required. When you provide a particular tolerance, say plus minus 10 micron, when you are providing that tolerance, next activity or thought process, how I am going to achieve this? Which manufacturing process I am going to use this? At the same time, you have to understand the cost factor also. So one by one, we are going to understand that part. Which are those factors affecting tolerance value? Imagine you are a design engineer and you have to provide a tolerance to a particular dimension. So that value, what is that value? If it is plus minus 1 mm or plus minus 0.5 mm or plus minus 0.01 mm, what is that value and how you decide that value? So let us one by one understand those points. And there are four important parameters friends if you apply these parameters to any field you can achieve success in that field number one is quality quality of your product and how you are going to achieve that one important factor that is design factor is tolerance then second is all about the quality of your output as a design engineer quality of your output which is that output today drawing 3D model, bill of material, quality of education, different perspective, again, same thing, quality of education, how many successful students are there from that particular institute, that is the quality of education, right? Second point, delivery, delivery means commitment, third is cost, and fourth is consistency. So the first point, how to decide tolerance value? Size of the part. Imagine 
a component size of say 10,000 mm. That is the size of the component. Now, when we say the component size is 10,000 mm, how you are going to manufacture that, right? So that imagination, visualization is important. There are very few processes which can make such type of huge components. Say casting can produce such type of huge components. But at the same time, you have to understand whether it is possible to achieve that value in microns. Absolutely not. Why? Because even though, suppose you produce a component of 10 microns, how you are going to check that component, which instrument you are going to use? That also design engineer has to understand. So I'll give one tip here. You should know how to measure the product by using vernier caliper, micrometer, height gauge, three, three important, I can say, measuring instruments you should be able to handle. If possible, CMM, find out the opportunity and get that. So the tolerance value depends upon the size of the component. If the size is more, wide tolerance is required. If it is 10 mm, you can go for 10 microns, even one micron is also possible. That is one aspect we have to understand. Second, manufacturing process. Now, as a design engineer, why it is important to visualize the process? And when we see any component, you should be able to visualize how this component is manufactured. Now, when we say manufacturing process, all basic shaping processes you should know, all cutting operations you should know, all forming operations you should know, then joining operations, finishing operations, heat treatment related processes, non-conventional processes, then coating processes, all these processes you must know. And when you see any component, you should be able to visualize how this component is manufactured. Now, this is a component I want to show you. This is a simple pipe, radiator pipe. Now, this is produced by sand casting process. So, you cannot manufacture this component within plus minus 0.1 also. So, manufacturing process, what you have to master the skill, which process, what is possible. That is the capability of the process you have to understand. So, we understood that. Tolerance value depends upon the manufacturing process. Now, if you want to go for 10 micron value, then definitely you have to go for machining processes, right? Then there are various machining processes like milling is there, rimming is there, grinding is there, then VMC, turning, CNC turning is there. And again, as per the machine, machine make also, it affects the tolerance value, right? Then coming to the next point, Material of the part. If the material is wooden, even though this is a engineering material, in case of wooden, you cannot achieve the value in microns. For rubber also, it is very difficult. So in metals like aluminium or we can say steel, that is the possibility, right? Then when you go for different materials like thermocoal is also material used for various engineering products. Then you can expect plus minus 1 mm. That also we have to understand. Next point, complex geometry. What is that complexity? Imagine the components in mechanical engineering field like engine block, engine head, manifold, gearbox housing. These are supposed to be the most complex parts in mechanical engineering. Now understand how they are manufactured. Mainly they are manufactured by casting process. Again, it depends upon the complexity. Just imagine the turbine blade. Turbine blade where you need very high accuracy. Then centrifugal pump when. Imagine the complex geometry, right? Sometimes by regular basic shaping processes, which you cannot produce the value in microns, in such cases, you have to go for various machining processes. And if it is not possible by Three axis machine, you have to go for four axis, five axis, seven axis machine. So when you are designing a product, you have to understand what is the geometry. And as per that, there should be feasible tolerance value. Now, see, these are the components. You can see the complexity of the part here. Definitely, you cannot achieve the value in microns. So 
In such cases, you can achieve within plus minus 0.5 mm. If we understand the geometry of this component, but absolutely when you are going for machining processes, you can achieve that in microns. The next very important point is the cost of the product. Always think about the cost. Cost should be a parallel thinking, whatever activity you are doing. So how you can reduce the cost of the product? By changing the tolerance value. 